Hey guys, what's up? How's it going? Thanks for joining me at the tent again. Trusty old tent with my HBC wool blanket. Uh, so, today, I, I mean, it's just going to be a short video, and I want to thank all the subscribers so far. I'm really, uh, I, I, I'm getting recognized, which is good. And I hope to still get recognized. Uh, yeah, and I, pr I appreciate all of you. Thank you very much. Uh, so today it's just going to be a, a walk around the tent, I guess. Uh, I don't have too much planned today. Walk around the tent, get a fire going. A traditional way. Uh, without a, without uh, any sort of match or anything. I'm going to use a ferro rod which uh, comes in handy during, uh, well, any time of the season when you want to start a fire. A ferro rod or just different techniques of starting a fire is always handy. So today I'm going to be doing a ferro rod technique. And uh, yeah, okay. So you know what the inside looks like. Uh, 8x10 canvas tent with a wood stove. Um, yeah, and I want to, I want to, uh, I want to do some, uh, I want to introduce you to some of my books, because, uh, I brought books up that would really reflect the area on this place. Um, I also brought up a couple of psychology books, because I'm getting into that as well. And, yeah, just a quick inter uh, walk around the tent, start a fire, and, uh, yeah, introduce you to some of my books. So, rats, look at this, rats, rats. There's no rats in here, but this is a good blanket, and, uh, rats. Yeah, and I got new boots. Well, not, not new boots, but the other ones just compacted snow on the bottom. I was actually thinking about using some uh, animal fat to uh, just to slick it off but again it might defeat, defeat the purpose of having boots you know I don't want to be slipping down the hills and I had to walk in today there's a bit of snow on the ground not too much uh, not as much as last time it, there's more snow here than back where I live um, but yeah uh, there's not is there any snow on here? Oh. Yes, there is snow on here. All right, so. snow no more snow let's take a walk around let's take a walk around eh you've seen this I want to do something I want to do something with this little uh, piece of land I got here Possibly building a, 
a garden. It's not too much, I'd say it's about, well, from the, from the land marker right there to the tent, it's probably about 20 feet. And what I did last time, okay, well, I'm going to have to, this is going to be a quick video, so let's, uh, let's get that fire going, all right? Well, there was plenty of snow up there. So again, I want to start this. Uh, you... See, that's good right there. I hope so. I want you guys to be able to see how I start this fire, so... Okay... It's good right there. That's good, alright. So... Let's get the ferro rod out. Wherever she may be. Fire starter. I don't need that. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Right there. So we have that, now we have to get the tinder. A good chunk of tinder right here, which is just anything dry, any small dry sticks will do. Uh, we're gonna get some soft wood, this is cedar. Here's a good way of starting fires. Okay, I'm gonna break this up. Smaller chunks. Two 
nice can you guys see me okay yeah two nice pieces of hardwood videos because okay fire going. I cleaned that out last week so she should be good. Place it back down here. Oh sorry. So, okay, what you want to do, take out your knife, you want to scrape the bark into little, little sh slivers. Again, this is... Nature's way of saying you're gonna have a good fire. Okay. Okay. not it's not too too much but so again you just want to take your knife and scrape across the top all those little shards that's gonna do oh, okay we'll look at I want to I want to get this the first try I am going to get some, uh, okay, that's, okay, that's good, white birch, or yellow birch, sorry, yellow birch, uh, hook, uh, and white birch right there, so if we get this fire going, Have all the materials right here to start the fire all right so what goes now is can you see okay I want to go like this bunch that all up again I want to get it on the first try to see ha. Put this in as 
well. Okay, we're good. That should be good. Oh. Yeah, see, that's... Okay, now we're gonna take this softwood, put it on top, put it on top, put it on top, like that, put it on top, okay, okay. Airflow, get the airflow. Okay, yeah, you see that? Make sure your dampener is open right up here. That's open. Yeah. Airflow makes all the difference. So, just to stoke it up a bit. Hardwood. Okay, hardwood. Hardwood is what produces the heat. Okay. Oh. Wow, we have to air this place out. Okay, so we have fire. Again, this is your dampener. Want to make sure that's open. That pretty much uh, conducts the airflow from the chimney pipe. Yeah. Good. <clears throat> oh man, it's smoky. And she, and she didn't go out yet. So yeah, just a quick fire starting video. Um, Put, which one am I going to put in there? So you want one, you want, when you're making a fire, you want one with very to little moisture on the outside, or uh, mold on the outside, because if you have mold on the outside, that means moisture is inside, and it's not going to burn. Oh yeah, it's a piece of hardwood, this is oak right here, this is good. Alright, hold your breath. Hold your breath. Ah. you if I gotta start a fire in minus 30 okay 16 seconds yeah so okay all right thanks a lot guys yeah thanks for joining me to the cottage and uh, uh, helping me start this fire I appreciate